So this is part two of this lesson to build kind of a simple event handling app in in Android. And what you know what the app's supposed to do is when the user clicks this button is change this to say how many times it's clicked. So pretty simple. Uh, what we've done so far, what I did in lesson part one was just do the vis visible part. So I made it so when the app starts running you can see a button and you can see the count. Okay, but we don't have any behavior. When I click on this thing here in the emulator, nothing happens. I don't change my count. So I need to fix that and I'm gonna fix that in the Java code. So if you go to the source directory and you can find the Java source code for your app. Okay, and the first thing I'm gonna do here is you know, notice that this click count activity extends activity. So activity is a basically a screen in Android. And so what Eclipse has done is generated a skeleton for me. I've now got my own class, um, which is a screen or an activity. And I just need to say how this, this app should, should act. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to declare a couple variables. Because I want some variables some Java variables that kind of map to my view objects that I've already created in, in XML. And so I'm going to just declare these guys. And um, what I want is for this variable to get mapped to that button and for this text view to get mapped to that number, that text view with the number number in it. And remember, you know, what I showed you in lesson part one was in main.xml, I basically defined these two guys and given them IDs and all that sort of thing. And so now I'm just kind of getting equivalent Java objects that map to, to those guys. Eclipse is re real nice about kind of telling me my problems. And in this case, I declared a variable type button and I just need to import the right file that knows about the class button. So it comes from android.widget class. Same thing with text view. There's a class within it. And if you look up here in my imports, it's added those imports for me. I mean, you could type them in yourself if you could remember them and stuff, but Eclipse really helps in, in that regard. So I've got these two variables. Uh, the next thing I want to do, and I'm going to go down to this onCreate method. This method basically gets called as soon as your activity or your screen gets drawn up, you know, in, in your app. And, you know, the first thing it does, and this is also kind of put in uh, for you by Eclipse is it it says set content view r.layout.main and r is, is this Java class that gets generated and what it does is just maps Java to your layout XML file well actually to all your resources but in this case what we want to do is say okay look here's a screen or an activity and its user interface objects are coming from r or resources layout main and it doesn't even need to put the dot xml because it knows it's an xml so you basically do that just so the screen will get drawn when the app starts okay but we need kind of some handles to these to these interface objects so i need to make a mapping between this variable that i've declared button one and the actual object in my xml file and the way i do it is there's there's a function called find view by ID. And I'm going to type this in and then I'll explain it. Um, okay. And what I'm doing is I'm this find view by ID function, it basically maps from XML IDs to Java objects. So we need that mapping so we now have a Java object for the for the button. This error I'm getting is because I need to cast it. Find view by ID is kind of a general function. It returns a view, and I need to tell it, look, the thing coming back for this ID is going to be a button. And, and that's what I just did. And I basically got to do the same thing for what I'm calling result text view. And of course, that is going to come back. It's a text view object. I know that and I still want to call find view by ID and r.id and then Eclipse will help me oh yeah it's called result text view notice my variable name and my ID name are the same they don't have to be because this mapping basically is going to map them 
one way or the other. Okay, so now I've got two variables that I can use in my program. And in fact, when I program the button click, I can use these two objects to, to do things to them. All right, so the last thing I need to do in onCreate is I need to register um, as, a, as a click handler. Okay, so I want my activity, I want this class, and I'm going to write code for it, to deal with what happens when the user clicks. So the first thing I got to do is I got to call this guy an on click listener. And really, I need to say implements on click listener. Okay, and, and, and what I'm saying is, look, I know how to deal with clicks. That's what this implement says. An error comes up, and be careful here because uh, there's a couple different import files you could grab. One's dialog interface. We're, we're not doing a dialog here. We want the one for, for view. Okay, so make sure you choose that second one. And then it'll stick the import in for us, and you can see it right there. So now I've got on click listener, and it's from the right file. I still got an error, and the reason is because when you implement some interface, what you're doing is saying, I'm going to provide certain methods. And in this, fact, in this case, I'm going to provide an on click method. So I could type this in, but Eclipse kind of helps me. I can say add unimplemented methods. And you'll see down here, all of a sudden I've got an on click event handler. Okay, so now I basically said, look, my activity, my screen, knows how to deal with clicks and I'm gonna write my code here to deal with the clicks. There's one more bookkeeping thing I need to do and that is I need to register as a click handler. In other words, I need to tell the button that I can deal with clicks. And you'll notice there's a set on click listener um, function. And in fact, what I'm going to put in here is this. And so now I've set myself up as I've told the button, look, when you get clicked, tell me that I am clicked. And and tell me that the click event has happened and then I can I can deal with it. Um, so I got an error. I think the error is I put in a Python comment up here, so I've changed it to a Java comment. Yeah, there goes the error. So, so I've I've registered myself this as a listener on the button, and so now when the button gets clicked, it will tell me or it will call this method within my, my this class so that it can deal with it. Okay. So there's quite a bit of bookkeeping, right? You need to implement an interface on click listener you need to register and then you need to actually write the method to deal with the the click and in fact eclipse kind of helped us by generating a skeleton so now we're doing doing pretty well so when the button gets clicked let's just start off with something very simple and let's just say result text view dot set text and let's just say look you got clicked Okay, you know, very simple. We're not even counting yet, but we might as well do this and test it just to make sure things are working. Now, this is not going to work right away. I have to restart the app by clicking this button, and what you'll see is in the emulator, it'll kind of restart. It'll install the app and then restart it. And now, I think when I click here, it'll change it to clicked. Okay, of course, it stays clicked after I click it the first time. Okay, it's pretty simple now. We can just kind of add a count. Of course, we want our count to be a data member of the class. So I'm going to set int count equals to zero. Um, and then down here, when the button gets clicked, I'm going to increment count. So I'm going to say count equals count plus one. Okay, and then of course what I really want to do is show the count here now. Uh, I don't want to put count directly because I need to convert it from integer to text. So I'm going to say 
use the Java integer class, put count in there, and then dot two string. Let's see if Eclipse likes what I'm doing here. I think it's going to ask me to import something. Uh, nope, let's see, what am I doing wrong? Uh, so I had my conversion wrong. Really what we're going to do is say use the integer class in Java its two string method and then you can give its two string method the actual int count and that will convert our integer to the string so we can use it in our program. So I'm going to go ahead and save this file and I think now when we run this app uh, and I click the button it should you know change that count every every time so there's click count if I come over to the app click on the button and indeed it's it's going to increment the count for me so pretty cool so this is your basic event handling app you know you gotta do some bookkeeping you know implementing the right listener um, registering your object with the the interface object the widget which is actually gonna catch the event in the first place and then you can actually write your event handler for what happens when you when you do click it